G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist and I'm coming to you today with another tyre review, this time from IRC Tyre of Japan. I need to disclose immediately these tyres are not actually made in Japan, rather they're made at IRC's facility in Vietnam. There's nothing wrong with that, but I had to get that out of the way. Company history time. IRC was founded way back in 1926, so that means that IRC has over 90 years of experience manufacturing tyres for all manner of bicycles. This is the IRC Boken in 700C by 40 millimetres. You can also purchase it in 700C by 36 millimetres. According to IRC, this tyre is intended for mega grip for serious extreme gravel riding. Wow. Apparently it also does very well riding gravel, pavement, dirt, and single track. So in other words, it's a pretty solid all-rounder tire. As you can see, it has an interesting center tread designed to roll nicely across smoother surfaces. And on the edge of the tire, you have these side knobs designed to help with traction on looser stuff and cornering. IRC kindly informs us this tire casing features an ultra gummy compound that provides insane bite, AKA a lot of traction, over nasty surfaces and nasty objects that you might encounter on the gravelly road less traveled. I think it's time to throw the IRC Boken onto the gram scale. Sample number one. 485 grams. So it's about four or five grams under spec. Sample number two. 488 grams. A tiny bit under spec. You have to love that. Incidentally, this tire is only available in all black, so if you're looking for a black and tan variant, you might have to look elsewhere. IRC, you should really make this tire available with tan sidewalls. That's the tech specs covered. Let's see how the IRC Boken tire mounts up to a tubular specific wheel set. IRC Boken gravel tire, mounted to the Zip 101 Explore wheel set. By the time you see this video, this wheel set may have been reviewed or not. Dry mount, no sealant inside. Incidentally, my sealant of choice is Orange Seal Endurance Formula. I've taken the liberty of removing the valve core. I want a big shot of air from the Bontrager TLR flash charger pump, which incidentally has had its secondary cylinder inflated to about 118 PSI. Here we go. It hasn't made the pop sound, but it might be in the bead. I'm going to add some more air pressure here. There we go. Beautiful. In the bead. That's what I'm talking about. According to my trusty calipers, the Boken tires measure 42.31 millimeters. So oversize on the Zip 101 Explore wheel set, which is quite wide internally. That's the tire mounting procedure covered. Let's find out now how the IRC Boken gravel tire rides. To test IRC's claims of all-rounder performance, I rode them in Florida, Georgia, and Northern California, the latter offering some lovely and diverse mixed surface roads. On any hard pack or pavement surface, these tires are screamers, meaning they ride flat out with a bare minimum of noise. At the right pressure for your body weight, they're comfy with stellar cornering grip on pavement. I found IRC's claims of insane tire bite do hold true for loose uphill surfaces. I ride seated 99% of the time, a style that lends itself well to planted riding when ascending steep, mixed surface climbs. I rode some sweet trails at Mount Tamapias near San Francisco that along with surrounding areas in Marin County is recognized as the birthplace of mountain biking. Suffice to say, I thought these trails would be above the capabilities of the Boken, but they took a lot of what I rode in their stride, particularly ascending, but descending into loose corners was a little spicy, 
but controllable if you set up for the corner appropriately. However, with zero experience riding any of the tracks on Mount Tamapais, this clearly wasn't optimal, so I erred on this side of caution. Questionable cornering performance on the loose stuff is to be expected when you consider the minimalistic edge knobs, so you want to be very careful pushing this tire hard, especially when descending. Once you get used to how the Bokens handle on loose corners, the potential for sliding out is pretty easy to correct and control, but inexperienced riders will be better suited riding a tyre that grips better overall. Some of the NorCal riders watching this review will be familiar with the descent of old Kaz, which was pretty interesting on the Bokens. If I carry too much speed leading into the corner and squeeze just a smidge too hard on the brake lever, it was easy to lock up the rear tire and force a slide riding straight or starting into the corner, but a pump or two of the rear brake sorted the bike out and averted disaster. A ton of fun, but a little disconcerting for some riders. I didn't get a chance to ride the Boken in dodgy, muddy conditions, but its tread pattern is not conducive to that type of riding. The Bokens have a 60 TPI tyre casing, which is on the lower side for a tyre in this price range, but the tyre still impressed me with its feel and speed, and comes close to its claims of a good all-rounder. The IRC Boken is really suited to dry and fast hard pack conditions, and hold ass on some of the lime rock and clay roads that proliferate parts of northern Florida and southern Georgia. The tyre also rode quite well on the occasional sandy spot, which did surprise me. But the Boken isn't a tyre I would choose for areas that feature chunky gravel, rocky terrain, and so on. Finally, the Boken will not be the longest lasting of tyres, especially if you throw in a ton of pavement when bridging between mixed surface sectors, so keep that in mind. So there you have it, my review of the IRC Boken gravel tyre in 700C by 40 millimetres. At the time of this video, there is probably 50 plus gravel tires available on the market for your purchasing pleasure. So I sincerely hope that my review went some way into helping you make an informed purchase decision. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for product reviews such as this, ride experience videos, no bull gravel bike reviews and other madness as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.